STI by having sex with a virgin. Once you've had an STI, there's no chance of getting any. Yeah. Two condoms are better than one. Hi, my name is Francisco Ramirez. One in four sexually active teens has a sexually transmitted infection, or STI. In fact, young people account for about half of the STI infections in the United States. There are many reasons why STIs, also called STDs, or sexually transmitted diseases, are such a big problem. One reason is that there's a lot of misinformation about how these infections are transmitted and who can get them. In this program, we'll hear from three health experts who will help us separate the myths from the facts. Jane Bogart, Director of Student Wellness at Columbia University Medical Center. Elizabeth Schroeder, Executive Director of ANSWER, a sex education program for teens. And Dr. David Bell, a physician who specializes in adolescent medicine at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital in New York. We'll also hear from some teens about their perceptions of some of these myths. So, Here's the first myth. Only trashy people get an STI. Do you think there's a certain type of person who gets STIs? And do you think that maybe trashier or dirtier people are more likely to have STIs? <laughs> um, is it bad if I say yes? Is that bad? Do you think only trashy people get STIs? Trashy people? Every, anybody can get an STI. Anybody can get it. Good. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Now, sometimes people think that it's only trashy or dirty people who get STIs. Why do you think people think that? People think that because it's appearances. I think appearances have a lot to do with what people think of diseases or infections or anything having to do with health. It has to do with an appearance as well. Anybody, a clean-cut person, a businessman can also have it. Why do you think that myth persists? I mean, teenagers are always judgmental. It can be anything from what a person wears to how they walk to where they hang out at night and people just make assumptions on who they are and what they do when no one's looking. And I mean, I think we can actually be surprised to who actually has things like STIs. No one is safe from this. No one is invincible from this. Even Superman might have it. <laughs> but you, and you just never know. That's why it's always good to be safe. I heard one of my friends had an STI and I was like bugged out. Like I had no idea. So, where does this myth come from? This idea that nice people don't get STIs and people who do have STIs are trashy. It's actually an idea that's been around for a number of years. Listen to Elizabeth Schroeder. If you go back many, many decades, actually even back to the 40s when there were a lot of ads when we were in World War II, um, there was a lot of propaganda that was put out that quote unquote loose um, women or trashy women um, had STDs, they were going to give them to you as a soldier. And those kinds of myths and stereotypes stay with people. You think bacteria, you think um, virus, oh dirty, it's something bad. Having an infection or having a, a bacterial infection or a viral infection does doesn't make you a dirty, bad person.